Moving on to your football now, and I still have to get used to saying this, but Al Ahli coach Peter Musimani has hailed the football culture in Egypt. He says that has helped him settle in at the Red Devils since joining the club back in September. The decorated coach spoke to the South African Football Journalists Association, and ENCA sports reporter Thonim Timkulu was there. Peter Musimani's transition from one end of the continent to the other has been made more bearable by a welcoming Egyptian public. Well, I'm humbled to be here. I'm loved here. I, sorry, I've been treated like a king in this place. I mean, if, if you can't go to a supermarket or to the, to the shopping mall, you would understand what is it. I come to training, there's a camera on me. There's, I leave the training, there's a camera on me. It's, 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 it's another, everything is on public. The former Mamelodi Sundowns coach was in charge as Al Ali lifted their 42nd league title. Although much of the groundwork was done before Musimani's arrival, performances were still important as he looked to stamp his authority in the early days. Those games of the league were were were, were pressure games for me because everybody wanted to say to see if uh, can we trust this guy, can we go with this guy, what is he bringing. The 2016 CAF Champions League winner was not afraid to make bold decisions immediately, including changes to the team's playing style. So I, I took out what won the league and everyone says, why are you changing now? I said, no, because I, I, I need you to play differently because the way you play to win the league, um, I don't think is the right way to win the Champions League. That boldness yielded results as the Red Devils secured their first Champions League crown in seven years. Misimane is unbeaten in all competitions since his debut in October. Plonim Timkulu, Johannesburg.